In most cases, connecting your internet modem to a peplink router to share its connection is plug and play, meaning you plug it in and it just works. However, it is not uncommon for folks to run into issues with their connection establishing or performing poorly. No matter the issue you're having, it is always a good first step to connect a computer directly to the modem and see how it works. Will it establish a connection? Are the bandwidth speeds any different? Then move the modem back to the router. Make sure you use the same ethernet cable so you know that it is a working one. Also ensure you securely connect it to the WAN port on the router. If there is no internet connection being established, power cycle a modem and router in this sequence. Power both modem and router off. After 15 seconds, turn the modem back on. Wait approximately one minute or until your modem's LEDs indicate is online. Power the router back on. Once the router is fully booted up, connect to it by Wi-Fi or Ethernet and check the connection again. If your peplink still fails to connect to the modem, you will need to log into its web administration through a web browser. If you're using a Max BR1 Mini or a router that has a switchable LAN to WAN setting, keep in mind that the WAN connection needs to be active. For example, on the BR1 Mini, you need to go under Network and Port Settings to find where to disable the LAN. In doing so, we enable the WAN connection. However, there is one more step here at the dashboard page. See the WAN has reappeared, but under the disable section. So we simply need to move this back into priority for it to reconnect. If this isn't the case for you, the next thing you can do is apply a MAC address clone. You'll find this at the WAN configuration settings, which is under network and then WAN on the left. Select the connection in question and find the MAC address clone setting. For the MAC address, you may use your computer's Ethernet adapter, assuming it is the same one you verified the connection to your modem with earlier. Another thing you can adjust in the event that the modem does not connect or you simply have poor throughput is the Ethernet port speed. This is also found at the WAN configuration settings section. Ideally, you will want to set it to the highest speed at full duplex. Such a setting may require a reboot of the modem and router. Remember to power the modem up first, wait about one minute, and then power on the router. Now that the modem happens to show a status that it has failed a DNS test, this means the router is unable to verify the connection to the internet using the DNS servers in place. These can be changed at the WAN connection settings like shown here. Lastly, you can adjust the MTU setting on the WAN configuration. You'll find this setting at the WAN connection settings as well. MTU size is the maximum packet size that can be transmitted over your network. Finding the best MTU size and changing it is worth doing should you experience a decrease in speed, lag, or even complete disconnections on your network. That concludes our troubleshooting tips for Ethernet WAN connections on your Peplink router. We hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this.